Hey guys, Steve here for Who Took My Nights Miniature Gaming, and welcome to my latest video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now this one, I wanted to talk about things like the Bolter Discipline Better Rule, in, in, in specifically in overall Space Marines. Um, and it's a trend I've seen over the last couple editions, uh, with something that, that, that to me seems uh, at the very core of Space Marines wrong. So first off, Bolter Discipline. Now this is a great uh, beta rule, beta rule, beta rule, however you say it, uh, bolter discipline, it's great, because it starts making marines deadly with bolters again, as they always should be, they're space marines, this is what they're designed for, so you haven't seen it, it's pretty basic, you replace the standard rapid fire rule with this one, and so, um, so all Adeptus Astartes and Her and Heretic Astartes models gain stability instead of the following normal, instead of following the normal rules, for rapid fire weapons, rapid fire bolt weapons used by models with ability make double a number of attacks if any of the following applies. So any, right? I'm just reading it here. So uh, the fire models targets with ha within half the weapons maximum range. That's the standard what rapid fire right now. Uh, the firing model remains stationary during its previous movement phase. This is pretty big um, because that's what space marines apparently do best now is just stand there and shoot. You, you look at, uh, at intercessors, um, your uh, tactical squads, scout squads with bolters. Uh, so if you stay completely stationary, you get to fire twice at 24 inches. You get to fire, you know, which is really, really good. The firing model is a Terminator, Biker, Centurion, or Vehicle. This is also very cool. Terminators, uh, because you're a Terminator, you can move and now fire four shots. Four shots at 24 inches because of storm bolters bikers also uh, vehicles this is great for things like the uh, <clears throat> uh rhinos can pump out four, four shots now from their storm bolters uh the hurricane pattern bolters on land raider crusader are just super powerful now it's a really really cool rule and it does help marines with this whole um issue they're having with the builders it starts helping i should say it isn't really the best fix. It is the beginning of a long road towards fixing Marines. And and I'll tell you why, specifically. And, and uh, if I feel kind of, the word we're using right now is salty. And if you haven't watched, I'm going to throw a, a shout here to my, my battle brothers, Freak and Mythos. Um, and and they, those guys, we've actually, there was a, I did a, a live view with them, like, what makes you salty? And this is, and, and Space Marines in general right now, and I'm a huge Space Marine fan. I've been playing Space Marines for 24 years now, since so second edition. And uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. I love Space Marines. But the last few editions have really, at the very core, changed what Marines are. Now, if you go back to third and fourth edition, especially third, Marines were this elite army. They were an army that was good at everything. They were good at shooting, really good at shooting. They were really good in combat. Um, so much so that at the point when they had, uh, their, uh, in the third edition book, they had a, a, a special mission. Third edition cod codices all had these missions at the back. Um, and the space room was two tact two of your, your troop choices against an, uh, an HQ, an elite of your opponent. What we're trying to show is that space marines, even your basic battle brother, was the equal, if not better to, than most elites in other armies. And this is the and this it was true. Your assault squads were great, tactical squads were great, devastator squads were good. They were really good at everything. Now they didn't master everything, and that's okay. You leave that to the Eldar. The Eldar they have a unit that masters close combat, a unit that masters shooting, a unit that masters destroying vehicles, a unit that masters um, tactical co combat, right? A unit that masters taking on hordes. Um, so, but again, they master one thing, but they're horrible at everything else. Space Marines are really good at everything. And over the additions, one, the addition has is, is, is always seemed to push, or favorite, I'll use the word, shooting over close combat. Seventh was huge for shooting. Lots of people were very, uh, you know, upset. Their close combat armies just weren't as effective. Things were getting blown up, shot down, before, you know, wiped out before they ever made it there. Eighth is the same issue. If you look at all the new Space Marine stuff that came out, Intercessors, Hellblasters, interceptors um even your uh aggressors all designed for mass shooting 
Uh, your inter your interceptors are good when they go into combat. At first, they have the chance to cause mortal wounds. So after that, well, they got aggressors can be used for close combat. They all have power fists. Again, the the median size you see is probably three, so they get seven attacks. That's if all your guys make it while you know sludging through in that thick armor, trying to set things on fire or blast things with your bolters. Um, but a lot of it, even your Reavers, they start out with bolter carbines. They're meant for close combat support shooting. Um, you can give them close combat weapons, but again, not that great. Three attacks each, it's okay. Um, it's great for if you're taking on lightly armored horde guys. You go up against any other sort of marine, and you start bouncing off stuff. And this is one of the problems, like I was saying before, is marines just aren't... They're just not what they're supposed to be. Something changed. The way that they, the way that we looked at has changed. It used to be, and I mean, the book still says they are. I'm not seeing it. The rules aren't reflecting it. The price points aren't reflecting it. They were supposed to be a fast-hitting assault force. They should be. The, they're able to shoot at long range if necessary. They should be able to, to to match up to pretty much anybody in close combat, and they should be good in the middle ground. Right now, they're good at long range in the middle ground. That's it. Close combat is pretty much a write-off unless you're using things like um, the Smash Captains. And that's really just Blood Angels that are, are really good with those. So, what happened? I mean, the general shape of the game has changed. It's gone from a balanced to swinging heavily towards shooting. <clears throat> Being in Marines, the 3 plus armor save and the toughness 4 just doesn't work anymore. It's not the same. Um, and they should know no fear doesn't really reflect the fact that they know no fear. Obviously, morale changed in 8th edition. It's a whole, you, know, you, you basically accumulate all the wounds, and that's what you, you know, you have to measure against your leadership. Um, but, and they should know no fear basically allows you to reroll that. It's still, I mean, if you fail that, you're still losing Marines. They're still basically running away, which is Marines aren't supposed to do. Uh, they can fall back. That was the old old way of doing it. They would fall back. They could regroup automatically. And if they got caught, back in the older rules, if you got caught while well, running away, you got run down. That was it. Your whole unit could be destroyed. Um, I loved it when I had like one Space Marine Sergeant chase, chase down a bunch of orcs and one guy slaughters everybody. It was fantastic. It was so cinematic in your mind to see this one Marine just going nuts and ripping orcs apart and then going on doing his thing. Now... That's changed, obviously, and I know to go that, Marines, if they got caught again while running, it was just a new combat. They weren't automatically destroyed. Now, they just can start disappearing like anybody else. That doesn't really reflect to me very well, and they shall know no fear. Um, beyond that, I mean, even for Grey Knights, what happened to Fearless? Those guys are not supposed to run, period, ever. They are completely fearless. Nothing Nothing. They've, they, you know, they steer into the heart of the terrors of the warp and don't flinch. And they're still, and even they can fall back. Um, so Marines just, in general, seem to have lost a big step in this edition. They're just not what they're supposed to be. Now, I know it sounds like, oh, you know, I'm the old crusty gamer. I'm not really, you know, you're, you're lamenting what you've lost. Well, yeah, duh. Uh, but it's more than just the rules changes. There's there's something that, that's just not right with Space Marines. They're not where they should be. Rules aren't reflecting where they should be. I don't care if there's a points increase in them, what have you, but Marines should be better than they are. Um, and I'm not a competitive gamer at all. So this isn't like, oh man, my monolith doesn't work, and I, I want the latest big thing, and I, this, they, down to the core they don't work. And now I and I do have a few options or or not options, but uh, ideas that for me would work. Spa and and I don't care if there's a points increase, but this is the way I see Space Marines working. One, Space Marines. This Bolter discipline is a good start. Space Marines should be able to move and shoot really well. I would like to see this change again to reflect things like um, uh, Marines specifically. And I don't care if it's heretic or you know loyal adeptus is starting. Space Marines should be able to 
move and fire at full effect. It's what they do. They're Marines. They're meant to be on the move. They're a mobile force. So they should be moving and still having unerring accuracy with their bolters. It's what they train to do. So I, I think Marines should be able to move no matter what and still fire rapid fire at full range. It's what Marines are supposed to do. Um, secondly, I, I feel, and I, I like what, what they did in Kill Team, uh, and I think this should apply to Marines in the standard game, um, and even make it would make Death Guard even more disgusting than they already are. There was that transhuman um, physiology rule in Kill Team where a space Marine could ignore the first flesh wound. Basically representing the fact that these Marines can take a wound, and that's what it said in the back of the day. Marines can survive a wound that would kill a normal man three times over. So I, that's what I think they should move this over here. Twisted, obviously, for 40k. But Marines should have like a a um, I guess a 5-plus uh, reroll or a 5-plus ignore wound, uh, whether you want to call it. Keep it as transhuman physiology, feel no pain, whatever you call it. They have a five plus save on that, basically representing the fact that they the wound just doesn't stop them. They lost a hand, they don't care. Uh, you know, they took a shot to the the, the chest, but you know, it, yeah, it made the armor, but their reinforced um, uh, bone structure there absorbed it. Anything like that, uh, and obviously that can make th something like the uh, Death Guard have a four plus, just absolutely disgusting. Um, uh, so that's another one. Uh, close combat. Something that Space Marines used to be good at. Assault squads could, in in 4th and 5th, even in the 6th, were devastating. They were devastating. They were fantastic because they they could go in, put in a ton of attacks. You had your flamethrowers, your bolters, plasma pistols, chain swords, power weapons, power fists. You could devastate units with a good-sized assault squad. Now, not so much. If you look at the changes, it used to be, you know, you had one attack per space marine, two for a sergeant, um, but then you had your bolt pistol, close combat weapon, your chain sword, so that boosts everybody to two. Then on the charge, you had three attacks, four for your sergeant, with, and so you had a whole bunch of attacks. You could have uh, three, six, nine, twelve, you could have 16 attacks out of one unit. 16 attacks out of one unit just would devastate stuff. Obviously, before that, you go in with bolt pistols. You had your AP-5 bolt pistols, your AP-5 uh, flamethrower. You could do a lot of damage, and your assault squad could just wipe things off the board. That has significantly changed now, obviously, in the rules. I'm not sure why they have such a bias against close combat. And I'm going to say bias because it just seems like something that just is not viable anymore. It is for certain units. If you do it right, it's still there. But a lot of close combat units just aren't being taken because they're just not doing what they need to do. I mean, now uh, a, a, an assault squad, you'll have your five, say five, uh, your five uh, men, you had your sergeant's got two attacks, the rest have one. You give them the chain swords, you know, they have two each now, two, four, six, eight. You know, you've lost, you've lost five attacks. From the last oh, the last edition to this one, uh, add on to that your flamethrowers that no longer ignore cover, no longer have an AP, your bolt pistols that no longer have an AP. Things survive that initial fire before you go in much better, and then you dive in, and there's still a chance you won't take anything out because you have no way of negating armor. Yes, you can throw a power sword in there and have one guy who might be able to cut down two or three guys, but in the end, is that enough over the turn? And... There's no guarantee your five Marines will even make it anymore. Uh, the three plus armor same just isn't what it used to be. Toughness four, like I said, just isn't what it used to be. So Marines have to be better. Marines, I honestly think, should have two attacks each. Intercessors, give them three. Uh, raise the points. The fact is they need to be... They, these guys are designed to fight. They train their entire life as a Marine to fight, and they're good at it. Really good. Um... And But just the rules aren't reflecting the fluff. And I've said before myself, before we go, oh, well, fluff doesn't match. I know that. I know fluff doesn't match the rules. If it did, fluff back in the day, Marines, five Marines can conquer a planet. You took five Marines down, you win the day. Uh, in fact, I mentioned in one of the videos I was on with uh, uh, the Frost and Fist there, 
about the movie Space Marines, where it was literally ten guys, and these ten guys were superpowered demigods of death. I used the list once because it was so powerful. Each guy was pretty much his own character. Bolters were insanely powerful. Last cannons were death beams from hell. Um, but as much as fluff doesn't match the game, it should match a bit more than it is with Space Marines right now. I know other people feel the same way about the armies. I'm hoping that Games Workshop is listening. I hope people they take in this Bolter discipline and take what people have to say and and make it fit so that Marines are much deadlier with their Bolters. They're much deadlier uh, than they have been. Um, even this isn't going to fix things totally. It's not... I mean, I'm, I could see tactical squads still not being used. I see scouts with Bolters. Um, I see scouts with Bolters and... Uh, and um, and camel cloaks, uh, you know, it'll help intercessors a bit more. It'll help um, terminators might start to use more. I can see land raider crusaders jumping down a bit more. People actually thinking rhinos might be a bit more useful, but really, it's not going to change much. Other than it's going to make units that are already been used be used more, right? A chaos base range, you might see a unit taken here and there. Again, I think they're, they'll rely more on their cultists than in, than a chaos space marine. Um, so that's been my little rant. Like I said, I'll have to say there. Um, tell you guys, tell me what you think. Tell me what what uh, do you think this bolter discipline is going to make things better for Space Marines? And I'm talking all, all over chaos, blood angels, space wolf, dark angels, your vanilla Marines, whatever. Do you think it's actually going to be something that's going to make them better? Do you think Games Workshop can improve on it? Do you think the Games Workshop will hopefully, in my opinion? fix Marines, make them more like Marines are supposed to be, or do you think that this is just the way it is now? And this is by no means, I'm skip it there. I'm not one of those guys like, it's the rules suck, I'm done. Um, I think there is a problem with the Marines. Not going to stop me from playing them at all. Um, I'm, I, I think my love for Marines is well outweighs any sort of uh, discord that the rules are going through right now. But again, guys, tell me what you think. Tell me uh, what your opinions on the whole thing are. What do you think? What ideas do you think you have that could make Space Marines better? Shout them, throw them at me. Uh, you can throw them at me on on the Facebook page. Uh, throw them down in the comments below. Email me. It's all in there in the description, and uh, let me know. Uh, but thank you for letting me have my little moment of saltiness for ranting a bit. Um, as always, guys, if you like what you saw, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the little bell icon. So you're kept up to date. And as always, guys, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I'll see you around. See you next video. Keep rolling those dice. See you later. Bye.